Hey guys, it's Kit, and today I'm going to show you how to make oatmeal raisin cookies. This is really simple and really delicious, and today I have my sister on the show with me. Hi, I'm Maggie. Yeah, and we're going to go over the ingredients with you. Okay, for these oatmeal raisin cookies, you're going to need three-fourths a cup of unsalted butter, room temperature, one and a half cups of brown sugar, two eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one and a half cups of flour, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, two and a half cups of oatmeal, and three-fourths a cup of raisins. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to put your unsalted butter at room temperature in a large mixing bowl, along with your light brown sugar, and then just start beating this together until it's light and fluffy. And the ratio in this, there's a lot more sugar than butter, so it won't be very creamy. But just mix this for a while. Okay, so now that our butter and sugar mixture has been creamed together, we're gonna add the two eggs and vanilla to the mixture and beat it till it's light and fluffy. All right, now that this is all light and fluffy, I'm going to slowly add in my dry ingredients in about three different variations. And just keep doing this until it's evenly combined. So now that we have our mixture, I'm going to put the oatmeal and raisins into the bowl. Now you don't want to stab at this, you really just want to fold this in so it's nice and even. Alright, now what I'm going to do is just take my cookie dough, put it over here, and then just scoop these out onto my greased baking sheet. And I use a cookie scoop just to make sure that every cookie is even. And then just continue doing this until your cookie sheet is filled up. And then you're going to bake these at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 11 minutes. And these spread a lot, so give them space in between each other. All right, so these are the finished cookies. They're really, really pretty. And they're kind of crispy on the outside and really, really soft on the inside, and they turned out really, really well. Thanks for watching, and check out my channel for more videos and recipes. Bye! Bye.